done it in the first session your mind started one start mind might have started wandering and going where is this going whoa where is this going anybody can anybody say that you caught your mind doing that that you realized that your mind was doing that reagan's being honest thank you reagan yeah there is no next if you're thinking about the next if you're letting your mind wander in the sketchy taxi it's creating a story that's not true and that story that's not true is going to ultimately interfere with this moment that you're in and the freedom that's found here. Are you hearing me? There is no next. This stands alone. This moment's going to stand alone. And this is the only moment of your freedom. I promise you will not have any freedom tomorrow. Because it doesn't exist. Tomorrow is a concept that you created in your mind. Now is all we have. Your body believes there's a tomorrow because you've allowed it to be programmed to say, okay, it's late, the sun's gone down, I feel tired, I'm ready to go to sleep so I can wake up and then be a new day tomorrow. So your body, Reagan's really aware of that at this moment. Your body's developed this idea of a tomorrow. It's been programmed with that concept because your body's functioning under information, which is purely conceptual. Do you understand this? But that doesn't mean that that concept is a reality. It might feel real, but you've heard me say this many times. When tomorrow comes, what is it called? Today. And then you're looking forward to what? Tomorrow. Every tomorrow has a tomorrow of its own. It never comes. The thing with tomorrow is it never comes because when tomorrow gets here, it's today. Tomorrow never comes. It's literally just a concept. But if you're looking for your freedom tomorrow and you're thinking, well, this was really good. Tomorrow, I wonder what tomorrow is going to be like. I wonder how much freedom I'm going to get. No. You should be meditating and resting in the reality of what you're already experiencing in this moment. Take what's being revealed, something small, it, it, something very, very small, minute. You can take that little tiny minute revelation and just sit in it and rest in it. And just and that in this moment as you're just resting in this eternal timeless revelation is transformative but if you start to allow the mind to wander into tomorrow or just into the non-existent conceptualized because the mind just that's where it goes it goes into concepts the, when you realize that you really don't like talking to people that are that are I shouldn't say talking to people talking with others about concepts that's when you realize that your mind is probably in a renewed state. It's not fun. Literally, it's, it's I'm going to look at you like you're an alien when you start talking about yesterday and all my past and all this happened and what about this and this person. I'm just going to be like, shut up, up. Like seriously. I've already reminded Kaylee three or four different times, be here, Kaylee. Be here, right? Huh? Yes. Be here. There is no next. That's purely a speculative construct of your mind. You're taking in certain information and projecting that into a non-existent tomorrow. That's all that's happening.